Hi there, it's Jody from Let's Create Studios. Thanks for stopping by Tuesday for this really quick and simple Valentine's Day card. So you can use the, I'm gonna be using all supplies from Stampin' Up! And my color theme is going to be around the Lovely Lipstick, which is a dark pink color. Now you can use whatever supplies you have at home and duplicate this card. I'm using the Meant To Be stamp set, along with the Framelits. Uh, called Be Mine and they are cut out using the stitched using our Big Shot machine. So I've got everything ready to go here and watch how quick this card comes together. So we've got a panel here. It's a whisper white panel and we're going to be using our lovely lipstick ink pad. This measures four inches by five and a quarter and I'm going to put my designer series paper here. This is three inches by four inches and I'm just going to place it there while I do my stamp to make sure that we get a nice clean image. If I mess it up I can always flip it over. Perfect! Alrighty, now let's add the designer paper to the front of our card here. I like using the um, green glue because it gives me some time to wiggle around and get it in place. Now this is a ribbon, it's the same lovely lipstick ribbon. This is a beautiful ribbon. And let me show you how I attach this to the back of my card. So I place my ribbon and then I adhere one side down with either scotch tape or I use my tear and tape a lot of times too. And then you just kind of flip it over, place it straight in the front and then tape down the other side. Now that is never coming off. Then we're going to attach this to the front of our card using dimensionals and when I attach a panel I'll use five dimensionals, four, five. You don't have to use dimensionals, you can use regular glue. And then we're going to attach it to the front of this card base and this card base measures. To make your base for a card you just cut a piece of cardstock in half at five and a half, so an eleven piece, a little eight and a half by eleven inch piece, a half is five and a half. So then the card measures eight and a half by five and a half. On goes our base. And then we're going to attach our heart. So you can get yourself a heart and get yourself a heart. <laughs> Have a heart. Now this one, I cut this, die cut this one out of our shimmery glimmer paper. On this card I just used white, but this one I use the shimmer glimmer, shimmer glimmer. So attach your, your glue, uh, just a really thin strip. You can use a paintbrush. I do that a lot in my studio. I'll just grab an old paintbrush and just paint it on there. Or you can get a fine tip glue pen. Okay, now we're going to layer this on. Oh, I like the shimmer. Shimmer, shimmer, shimmer. That's pretty. Okay, next up, just a simple bow. I'm just using some white baker's twine to tie on my bow. And then, of course, we're going to stamp the inside of our envelope. The inside of our card and our envelope to match, I should say. Slow down. How are you at tying bows? Yeah, so just use any ribbon that you have at home or some twine. Add a little bling. I'm going to add this on with a glue dot. Right there. And then fluff it up a bit and some rhinestones. So I think I'll put on one there, one there, and a couple down here. And that is it for the card. Isn't that beautiful? So quick and easy. And let's just, I've got a little heart that I'm gonna add on the inside of my card. And then I also use the same little stamp and I put it on the back of my envelope so everything coordinates. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, like my channel and subscribe. And every week I will be posting 
um, card making videos and paper crafting. Have a great day. Supplies are, list is at the bottom and full measurements and instructions are on my blog at jodydeering.com. See you next week.